All right, let's talk some NFL. Let's give our picks for week nine, but let's first review week eight. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our Facebook group. All those links in the description. If you want to advertise on the channel, hit me up. Also, don't forget Good Fella, Fella Sports TV 2.0, our backup page. All our live streams and other content is going over there. We can't go live until the end of January, so that is what it is. But check out, check out Good Fella Sports TV 2.0 if you miss some of our live streams. You want to see them at some point i'm gonna put all these on spotify and you know apple music but i'm still working on that but um we were six and 14 last week wasn't a good week but um let's talk about the falcons beating the panthers they beat them 25 17 thought the panthers was win uh falcons came to came to play uh calvin really left that game with an injury not sure if he's gonna be playing the next game but personally who cares it was a toilet bowl game and they hurt they hit they hit uh teddy bridgewater with uh somebody hit him with a dirty play but um, he came back. Patriots and the Bills. That's one of the, uh, that was the upset of the week. They was trending towards the upset of the week. Cam Newton fumbled the ball, and you know that's all he wrote. People ready, ready to write Cam Newton off. And Buffalo is really not playing a high level of football right now, and I don't know why. I don't know if people figured out Josh Allen or whatever it is, or John Brown not playing. But um, you know Josh Allen was eleven for eighteen for. What was that? 154 yards, one interception. They not. I mean, Devin Singletary rushed for 86 yards for 14 carries. Zach Moss had 14 carries for 81 yards. John Brown did play. He had one target. Right now, Buffalo's pass, a passing game is really suffering right now. And if it don't get on, on track, um, they're going to be easy out in the playoffs because they're probably going to win the NFC East. Then we got the Titans taking on the Bengals. Um, the Bengals came with the upset. I didn't see that ass whooping coming. Um, excuse my French, but Burroughs. Is on a he on another level in my uh future voice. He threw 26 for 37, 249, two TDs. Henry got 112 yards, but it didn't seem like he 18 carries. And you know, Bengals really changed changed the uh turn the corner. Um, Bernard had 52 uh, 50, 15 carries, 62 yards, one TD. Uh, Samaj Perian had 10 carries for 32 yards. T Higgins, uh, six catches, 78 yards. Tyler Boyd is becoming his favorite target, and, and uh. Joe Burrows, he had uh, six catches for 67 yards in the TD. A.J. Green not doing much. But uh, Corey Davis lit it up for Tennessee. He had eight catches, 128, one TD. Tannehill threw one pick, 18 for 30. Two touchdowns. Not sure what happened. Did they under overestimate the Bengals or underestimate them? They had a really good season so far, the Bengals, other than getting blew out, blew out by the Ravens. They've been competitive with the Browns, who look like they might be going to the playoffs. Maybe, possibly, maybe not. Um... You know, they was competitive with the Eagles, who definitely may win the NFC East. Um, so, their team that's coming. You got the Raiders. They should have beat the Colts as well, too. In all reality and actuality, uh, they should really have, they should really be uh, five and five and two. Six and two if you create, if you uh, count Eagles games. So, the Bengals looking good. And they should show you how much a quarterback can really change things around for them. Raiders and the Browns, we call that upset. So, I told everybody I knew to take the Raiders. The Raiders still didn't put up the points I thought they should. But Josh Jacobs had 31 carries, 129. Really wasn't not much to pass. No passing affair here. I think it might have rained a bit in that game. Derek Carr threw for 15, 15 completions, 24 attempts, 111 yards, 1 TD. Baker Mayfield threw for 122, 12 attempts, 25. I mean, 12, 12 completions, 25 attempts. Nothing really to talk about here. Uh, Kareem Hunt, he didn't really do much. Um, but it was a boring game score-wise. Let's continue. The Colts and the Lions. Well, I thought the Lions was going to turn the corner and beat them. 21 to 41. Pretty much Stafford threw. He fought, stripped fumble that led to a touchdown through a pick six, and that was the difference. So the Colts came in and pretty much looked like they dominated. But Stafford handed them the game. Then you had the Vikings taking on the Green Bay Packers. They upset them. Dalvin Cook still running. The rumor is on uh, in Lambeau Field. He had 30 carries, 163, three touchdowns. Uh, Aaron Rodgers wasn't too shabby neither. He needs some help, though. I ain't going to lie. He was 27 for 41, 291, uh, three touchdowns, no interceptions. And, you know, they didn't have Aaron Jones, but it didn't matter. Uh, Kirk Cousins, who the garbage quarterback of all time, he ain't do much. Uh, it was really the Dalvin Cook show. He had two catches, 63 yards, one TD. I mean, sheesh. You know, Dalvin Cook playing on the wrong team. For real, he played on Green Bay. They might be Super Bowl contenders, to be honest. You had the Jets and the Chiefs. The Chiefs blew them out 35-9. Nothing to talk about here. My homeboy threw five touchdowns. You had the Dolphins. 
upsetting the Rams, but the Rams is going to win. Golf through for 355, 35 for 61 times. Jesus, one TD. I'm pretty sure he has some interceptions throwing it 61 times. Two picks. Nothing really to talk about here. Two of them do much. 12 for 22, 93 yards, one TD. It looked like it was the takeaways, dog, for the uh, Dolphins. And I've just never been high on the Rams ever since they lost that Super Bowl. Um, Sean McVay hasn't really been able to adjust his offense. Then we caught this game. This is another upset. We had the Steelers dog beating down the Ravens. We're beating them. 28 to 24. Lamar was 13 for 28. 208. Two TDs. J.K. Dobbins, that boy from Ohio State. Fuck eyes. Go blue. He had 15 carries, 113. So uh Gus Edwards had 16 carries, 187, one T D. And uh Mark Ingram didn't play, he had an injury. They gotta get uh they gotta get uh Lamar some help. Willie Snead had five catches, 106. Uh Hollywood Brown had one catch for a touchdown for three yards. He cried and complained that he wasn't getting the ball. Lamar Jackson said that's on him. Um, and the Steelers just a better team, straight up and down, man. Juju had seven catches, 67 yards. Claypool had five catches, 42 yards, one TD. And Big Ben didn't turn the ball over this week. Last week, he turned it over three times. He was 21 for 32 and 182 TD, two TDs. And James Conner didn't do much. So, really, Steelers just got a really good all-around football team. And they'll be, re they be rematching each other on Thanksgiving. So I can't wait for that game since the Cowboys and Lions pretty much trashed this year. Then we had the Broncos beat the Chargers. Now, I did not know that the Broncos won that game. Oh, the Chargers won that game. The Chargers stayed on least. Um, Herbert had a good day. Good day. Um, 29 for 43, 278, three TDs, dog. But he had a pick in there. He had two picks. Drew Locke had one pick, three touchdowns. Um, Juice Justin Jackson from Northwestern had 17 carries, 889 yards. Uh, Philip Lindsay had six carries, 83 yards. He had one big long touchdown, too. I watched this game a little bit. This didn't catch the end. But, uh, uh man, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen did that thing. 99 yards, 67, one TD apiece. And um, what happened here was the Chargers choked the lead up. They gave 21 points in the fourth quarter. They was dominating this game. Denver scored three in the first quarter. Chargers scored 14 to Denver zero in the second quarter. 10 to day seven. And they just blew the, the fourth quarter with a six 21 different, so they blew them out, dog. Okay, but we picked Chargers to win that. Saints beat the Bears. I think I picked the Bears to win that. I think I picked the Saints, excuse me. Drew Brees, he did what he had to do. It came down to the wire and pretty much, you know, it was, it was a Kamara show. He had nine catches, 96 yards. Um, he rushed for 67 yards. He scored a touchdown. It was a boring game. Jerry Cook scored a touchdown. Really nothing significant happened. Uh, the Saints squeeze one out. Going outdoors, and that's usually a hard thing to do for a dome team dog. But uh, then we go to 49ers and the Seahawks. I picked this one right. Um, DK Metcalf went off after not really getting, I think he had one reception last week versus uh, the Cardinals. He had 12 catches, 161, two TDs, and last name Wilson. He threw four TDs. I think he got 26 TDs on the season with only six interceptions. And um, pretty much, you know, the 49ers couldn't do nothing with him. They was, they was trying to be competitive. In the fourth quarter, they put up 20 points, but uh, the Seahawks was just too much. Then you had the Eagles and the Cowboys. No, that was a trash game. I didn't watch it. 23 to nine, the Cowboys won. So I mean, the Eagles won. I picked the Eagles to win that game. Then we had the Buccaneers and the Giants. Really didn't watch it. Her was competitive, and then uh, at the end, they couldn't complete the two point conversion. I did see that, but you had uh, the Cardinals, the Washington Football Team, Jaguars, and Texans on the bye. And also to say with the Giants game, the Giants got a pretty good defense. It's just well, without an offense and just being in trouble. And people trying to get ready, they want to get rid of uh, Saquon Barkley. I mean, uh, Daniel Jones, but Saquon Barkley ain't been there. It's going to be hard for them, man. But, you know, we were 6 for 14 this week. That ain't good. Uh, but hey, you got that upset, though. You got the Raiders being on the Browns. I think everybody should have picked that one. That wasn't hard to tell, like my boy Nas say. But let's move to week nine. We might have some COVID issues here, but the Packers play the 49ers tonight. Uh, uh, what's the boy name? Uh, the tight end. Oh, man. The brother name. I forget his name. I'm sorry. He the best tight end. George Kittles. He out. Jimmy G out. Jimmy G, this might be his last show with the 49ers. He might be on the street, dog. So, give me the Packers. Going to 49er land. Back to Aaron Rodgers. Stuff and grounds. To beat them. The Packers favor by seven. They cover the seven. Over and under 48 and a half. Probably going to be under. Um, Broncos and Falcons Sunday. Excuse me. Falcons favored by four. Under, over and under 50 in the dome. 
Um, I think it's gonna be over. Um, probably no Ridley. Give me the Broncos for the upset to cover the four. It'll be over. Give me the Broncos to go to. People might be too young for that. Jamal Anderson, Dirty Bird. Um, Seahawks play going to the home of the Bills. Um, Seattle favored by three, 55 over and under. I think it's an opportunity for the Bills to upset here, but it's always hard to pick up West Coast team coming east. But the way the Bills offense has been playing, give me the Seahawks to cover the three over and under. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's gonna be under 55 points, but I could be wrong. But I just think uh the Seahawks get the job done and they roll over the Buffalo Bills this week. I think it was gonna be a close game. Only thing that stopped me from picking Buffalo is just how the offense has been playing. You dig. Then we got the Bears going to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, shout out to Young Buck. You know you gonna let me in to keep mine. But um, give me the Titans bouncing back. They favor by six and a half, over and under forty six and a half. They cover the six and a half because the Bears can't stop the run. Derrick Henry gonna run wild. Lock them in your fantasy lineups. And that's the only reason I'm picking the Titans to cover that six and a half for over and under 46 and a half. It, it'll be over that. Because Derrick Henry going to snowplow coming in. You got the Ravens going to Indianapolis. Indianapolis playing good defense. It's a close game according to the bookies. Baltimore favored by two. Um, over and under 47. So you're really looking at really 23 and a half a piece. Two good defensive teams. Mm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's gonna be over 47, um, over and under. I picked the the Baltimore to go cover that. That's gonna be a tough game. I think that game gonna be decided by field goal. And I'm I'm gonna pick Baltimore to bounce back, but I can see Indianapolis getting them. But I think Baltimore defense great turnovers for Phillip Rivers. They stop Mar They stop Jonathan uh, Taylor. They stopped the other running back. They got Wilkins. Give me Baltimore to cover that two and over and under above 47 because they in that dome. Lamar going to be ding, 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 ding. He's going to be the flash out there. Then we got the Panthers taking on the Chiefs over and under. It's 52 and a half. Chiefs favored by 11. Um, they in Kansas City. The weather supposed to be 74 degrees, dog. Woo, it's a heat wave going around the national. Actually, it's 66 in Detroit today. Give me the Chiefs to cover that. It's going to be the smack up down on the Panthers. Rudy Poole. So give me the Chiefs to cover that. It's 11. Over and under going to be above 52 and a half. Then we got the Lions going, playing the Vikings. What's going on? Stafford got a false positive. It sounds like he might play Sunday, but it don't matter. Dalvin Cook, he going to be rolling like them Dalvin, spinning on them spree wells, dog. They ride spree spins these days. But give me Dalvin Cook running all over the Lions. There is no over and under for this game at all. I think because of the uh, Stafford may play or may not play. Because it was a sound like another false negative, false positive, excuse me. Then you got the Giants going to the Washington football team. I think they played already, right? Um, I think they played already. Give me give me a minute. Let's double check this. Already, it's always it's always better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, they beat the Washington football team by one point at home. So I wasn't I wasn't surprised that that surprise. I, I figured I picked the Giants to win that game. Give me Washington since they're at home. They cover the two. They win. They cover the two and a half. The over and under will be a. It's probably gonna be forty. It's gonna be seventy two that day. I think it'll be. A, I think it's gonna be under forty three. It'll be a close game. When the last game was nineteen to twenty. Then you got the Texans going to Jacksonville. Houston favored by seven. No, uh, I think no Gardner Minshew over and under fifty one. It'll be above fifty one. Um, I think it might be above fifty one. I think uh, it might be above. Houston give up. And Tech Jaguars give up a lot of points. Houston cover, they beat the Jaguars in a meaningless toilet bowl game. And the Jaguars march on to get their Trevor Lawrence um, raffle tickets. But then you got the Raiders going to the Los Angeles Chargers. I didn't say San Diego. Hand clap for me. Uh, the, the line is even, over and under 51 and a half. Uh, give me the Chargers going on the road. Um, there's no line. Over and under be 51 and a half. Chargers just a just a... Uh, they just janky team, man. They're gonna lose the game. Raiders gonna improve to five and three. They're gonna go four and one on the road. Then you got the Steelers playing the Cowboys. Steelers favored by 14, over and under 42. Steelers might be put 40 something points up by themselves. I'ma say the under. 
I think Steelers put up 30 points. They're going to get some pick sixes. Um, Cowboys, sorry. Um, they're going to cover the 14, and Ben's just going to roll the A. No, I don't see no way the Cowboys coming back. Uh, is, a, is a Dak going to save them? Nope. They can't be saved. Then we got the... Oh, no, no. I don't know what the Dolphins, man. We got the Dolphins taking on the Jack. The Cardinals. Cardinals favored by 4.5 at the crib. 48.5 over and under. The Dolphins' defense is opportunistic. Um, it's a good game. Give me the Arizona Cardinals um, to cover that 4.5. And, and I think Kyler Murray... I think it's going to be under this. I think Kyler Murray covered a four and a half. Give me the, the Arizona at home. I'm not confident about that. Dolphins got a good D. But uh, so do Cardinals, even without Chandler Jones. Then we got the Saints taking on the Bucks Sunday night. They going to the Tampa this time. Tampa favored by four and a half. Not sure if Mike uh, Thomas is going to play. Over and under 50 and a half. Last time we won, the Saints won. They won. But give me the Bucks. Brady and them Bucks. It's going to be, it's going to be over 50 and a half. Um, I think the defense for the Bucks come to play. Antonio Brown gonna be playing A B. Give me them winning. I think uh Chris Godwin might be back too. And then the game of the week. Psych Monday night football is a dud. Patriots going to uh, the Jersey to play the Jets. Give me the Patriots to cover cover the seven. Over and under. It's gonna be under forty two, I'm guessing. Teams on the bye are the Bengals, Browns, Rams, and the Eagles. But once again, I got the Patriots on the road, the Bucks at home Sunday night. I got the Cardinals thrashing the Dolphins. I got the Steelers running over them Cowboys. I got the Raiders on the road beating the Chargers. Texans on the road beating the Jags. Got the Washington football team returning to favor beating the Giants at home. I got the Lions on the road losing to the Vikings. I got the Chiefs blowing out the Panthers. I got the Baltimore Ravens beating the Colts on the road. I got the Titans beating the Bears. I got the Hawks beating the Bills. On the road, I got the Broncos beating the Falcons. That's my upset of the week on the road. I got the Packers smashing the 49ers today. So I appreciate the love, support. Keep sharing the videos. Don't forget you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my social media links on the description. Facebook group link there as well too. Check out my other channel for live streams and more content. Good Fellow Sports TV 2.0. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Don't forget to check out our NFL playlist once again. Want to make a financial donation? Cash up CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support we got.